Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Bagel Sunday. Let's go get bagels. <laughs> okay, kids, here's an interesting test for you. I am heading to Pleasure House Point in order. Well, I guess I don't need to make hand gestures. You can't see them. But I'm going to Pleasure House Point to test out this 7200 on the A74, but in video, not in still picture format. Dead Broke Barbecue asked me to that he'd be interested in seeing that. I would be interested in seeing that, so I decided to throw it on the camera. Even though it's freaking cold out, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to do some filming with this combo and see what we get. Let's go hit Pleasure House Point and, and really get this thing going. Okay, kids. We hit pay dirt. We finally have a tree. It's got tons of birds in it. That's the most I've ever seen in one spot like that. Unfortunately, I don't have my 200 to 600, but as you can see, that bird has one, two, three, four, five, six birds that I can see. Most of those are great egrets, and I don't know what that other one is, but this is handheld. I've got it at 200 millimeters, 150th F13. Not too bad for handheld, huh? At 200 millimeters. Very awesome. I've been looking up in the trees the entire time I've been here, walking around just to see if there's any of them out there sunning, because it's not very warm out today and it's pretty windy. And I'd say this is pay dirt. I don't know if that one bird is in the middle. It's got like a gray head and almost looks like black wings, but it could be an illusion. Very cool though. So that was the one that was in the tree. What I said looked like it had a gray head. There's the ibis. And that's another great egret. I've never come over here because the water was always too high. But there are actually little paths. So since the water was so low, I decided to take my shot. And I honestly can't tell if these guys are in focus or not. Looks like a lot of the grass is actually what's in focus. But you get the gist. There we have another one on the other side. I literally walked up here and two more of them had just flown away. So I didn't get to capture that. But that's okay. I don't know what that was that just flew over, but that was neat. I don't know if this guy's going to sit still or if he's going to go somewhere. But right now on 150th, F22, it's at ISO 250. Auto white balance, continuous autofocus. And I'm hand holding it and it looks like uh, it's pretty steady. All right, kids. I think that that was actually a lot of fun and a pretty good test of the combination of the a7 IV with the 70 to 200 g master version 2. i'm only saying that this time because i'm talking about this particular combination so i want to make sure everybody knows what i'm using all right i was very happy to come across that tree of birds which consisted of several great egrets and that ibis and then when i saw the ibis fly away i was able to figure out where it went and because the water was so low walk around and get to the spot where I was able to record the IBIS 
and another great egret, which I've never been in that spot before because there's always a shit ton of water and I can never get over to it, not without like wading through hip deep water, which obviously I'm not gonna do. So that was a lot of fun. I think that you can see that yes, hand holding this combination is doable, Probably not when you're walking through a marshy, swampy area with a lot of roots and a lot of uh, bushes and trees and other shit growing. It makes it very difficult to stand still. It was also incredibly windy, and believe it or not, that can actually tip the lens because the lens sticks out far enough that it actually you know, moves everything around. If you're gonna shoot with a 70 to 200, you're probably gonna wanna have it on a tripod. I had some other footage in there where I actually, after I climbed out of where I was to film the Ibis and the Great Egret, uh, there was a family that was walking a little bit ahead of me, and I was trying to film them as I was walking. And as I was looking down at the screen, it looked okay, but when I got it off onto the computer, it was incredibly jittery and, and actually jarring, and I didn't even bother to put it in here. Not that I don't want to put shitty footage in there, but it just wasn't worth it to put it in there because, take my word for it, it looked like crap. Again, if you're going to be shooting with the 70-200, to 200, especially if you're out to 200, you're going to want to have this sitting on a tripod or you're gonna to wanna to have it on a monopod, or you're gonna to wanna to be someplace where you can stand and brace yourself so that you're not moving. So yeah, a great combination, and I'm happy with the way things turned out. All right, that's pretty much it. I, that's all I've got for you today. It is 4.30, I need to start my office day since, again, I was a dumbass and I scheduled meetings for my day off tomorrow and I have to have all those reports done and I gotta start laundry and I haven't eaten and I'm crazy hungry. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids, forward and up.